It was established that the defendant's door frame had been broken and it was repaired, but it was still, I guess, weak is what both parties sort of agreed to. She had a dead bolt, but um, there was some damage to that door frame. And now the jury wanted clarification on how did that happen in the first place. Probably someone thinking maybe the victim was the person responsible for the door frame's condition. Michael Jaffer, what do you, th what do you make from that question? The first question I asked myself when I was looking at this case was that exact question about the door and the damage. Why? It, it's everything, everything is cleaving to the same analysis that I had early on about this case, which is they're trying to see what, what, what a res reasonably prudent person been in fear for their life if they were in your position, right? That's why they want to listen to the 911 call. That's why they want to look at the damage to the door. That's why they, they're, they're trying to recreate the crime scene so they can make a decision. They know that they have this woman's life in their hands. She's 60 years old. If she gets convicted, she's pretty much going to jail for the rest of her life effectively, right? What the sentence comes down to. They want to know, would a reasonably prudent person have been in fear for their life or just been annoyed? If they would have been annoyed or if they would have just been afraid that you would have broken down the door and yelled at them, you did, did the wrong thing by squeezing the trigger. But if a reasonably prudent person would have been in fear that you would have killed them, then you did the right thing under Florida law. And that's why they, they're trying to recreate the crime scene. Mm -hmm. That's all they're doing.